Yeah, you know, I, I can't get mad at this at all. You know, Jay-Z has been talking about owning businesses, you know, title and owning his masters and owning properties for quite some time. And maybe Jay-Z has rubbed off a Meek Mill, you know, um, so Meek Mill is probably influenced by Jay-Z. And now he wants to be the voice of, you know, um, the hip hop culture when it comes to the, you know, the mainstream rappers, because, you know, he's at a perfect age. He's, a, he's around 30 or early 30. So he's at a perfect age where he can still talk to the more younger rappers, like, you know, the 18 to 22 year old rappers, um, still be relevant to them, but also be able to, you know, speak to the more seasoned rappers like himself. And so, you know, this is, this is a great message to, uh, you know, the hip hop culture our culture, black society and black society as, as, as a whole, because, you know, owning properties and, and, and owning businesses is what we should be doing. Even me, myself, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, yeah, sure. I post, I post a lot of pictures of me owning, um, a lot of shoes. I have a shoe collection, but yeah, I definitely got to get my, my game up when it comes to owning businesses and stuff like that for sure. So this is a message out to me as well, but I've always talked about, uh, you know, being able to not only own your own business, right, but being able to hire your own people and making that dollar circulate in our own communities, if you will, quote unquote, meaning our own communities where we live, where we have, where we at least have, uh, you know, city officials that are black even though they're figureheads and most likely controlled by the dominant white society, but at least we have figureheads that are black city officials that are black, like my city, Miami gardens, where we have uh, pretty much a predominantly black uh, government, local government here. All right. Uh, but we need more of our own black businesses to, to, to circulate the dollar within our own communities, the communities where we live. So, you know, I can't get mad at this, even though Meek Mill, you know, he, he thinks that white people, especially, you know, spe specifically the Jewish community is the upper echelon for power, which is not, you know, not true. He tried to defend uh, 21 Savage with his lyrics on Jewish money by saying, you know, what, what 21 Savage said um, against the Jewish community was a compliment. That's, you know, even though it was taken that way, uh, it was uh, portrayed that way by 21 Savage. See, the power of the Jewish community is that you can have a compliment towards them, but they don't see it that way, right? They have a code. They don't see it that way at all. They don't want you being associated with them whatsoever, which is why, you know, they have the power to even emasculate a billionaire athlete and a gangster rapper by making them apologize, even though they don't even accept their apology. That's the power of the Jewish community. They can do that. They can make you, they can make you apologize, emasculate you and be like, nah, we don't accept your apology, but thanks for saying that anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thanks, but no thanks. You know what I'm saying? But you know, the upper echelon of power and, and, and pure wealth is King Massa Musa, the richest, wealthiest black man that ever walked the face of the, of the planet. So rappers can mention his name and also talk about generational wealth with owning property and businesses and making that dollar circulate and practicing group economics. Yo, that's a force to be reckoned with when it comes to defeating white supremacy, straight up and down, you know, straight up and down. So I definitely, you know, I like the message that Meek Mill um, put out there for the uh, uh, New Year's resolution for 2019. I like that, you know, great setup and, uh, you know, you know, even, my, even myself, you know, uh, owning my house and then owning a rental property and stuff like that and making sure that you have multiple streams of income is, is very crucial. You know, still, you got a lot of bills that you got to you know maintain and stuff like that. And everybody's like, as, as well, everybody else, you got to maintain your bills. But at the same time, owning property and owning your own business is key in black society and making that dollar circulate in our own quote unquote communities is crucial. So I definitely agree with this statement by uh, Meek Mill. And uh, I would like to see more rappers talk about this in their songs and, you know, stop trying to, 
you know, stop trying to portray the Jewish community as the upper echelon of, of wealth and success, which is not, again, the richest uh, and most wealthiest black man that ever walked the face of the planet was King Master Musa. Mention him in your raps. You know what I'm saying? Reference him because a lot of people still don't know about him. You know what I mean? So, and he had jewelry. <laughs> but his the problem is that his jewelry appreciates in value. It doesn't depreciate like vehicles and the jewelry that's, that's out today by these uh these guys these actually jewish guys that make the jewelry for the black rappers you know what i'm saying so a little bit different so anyway those are my quick thoughts about the story family i'll have the link to this story in the description let me know what you guys think in the comments section about uh meek mills psa new year's resolution for rappers to own property and businesses in 2019 let me know what you guys think in the comment section family until next time chauncey aka the black separatist signing out peace